Well, still no containment tonight on a 2,000-acre brush fire burning near Bayview along the shores of Lake Ponderay. The Cape Horn Fire started Sunday afternoon, then spread out of control, destroying at least six homes. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey working for you tonight at McDonald's Resort in Bayview. And Jeff, uh, anxious residents are finally getting a break from the weather? And Nadine, as hard as it is to believe when you look at all the damage, this is actually as mellow as this fire has been since it got its start on Sunday afternoon. Right now, you are looking at the leading edge of the southern part of this fire. Crews doing everything they can, including a very aggressive air attack, to keep it from gobbling up any more territory. Even though the fire appears to be burning dangerously close to these Bayview homes, it's nothing like the wind-driven conditions we saw here on Sunday. Yesterday, due to the, the winds, uh, the low humidity and the, and the warm temperatures, had some very, very erratic fire behavior. Uh, the fire actually calmed down overnight as the temperatures cooled down and the humidity level came up and the winds decreased. The change in the weather has given firefighters time to bring in additional resources like these structure protection rigs that have positioned themselves between the fire and homes overlooking the lake. So we, we have multiple resources in. We've actually got resources from the five northern counties in Idaho, plus we've got resources from uh, the state and federal agencies, uh, even assistance from the Idaho Transportation Department with uh, large water tenders that have supplied us with water up there to be able to uh, continue on the structure protection and, and get in there and be able to put the fire out. And given the steep terrain around Cape Horn Road, fire bosses can't say enough about their air assets. Water dropping helicopters and fixed wing planes reinforcing fire lines and dousing hot spots and to be able to have the fixed wing aircraft on scene uh, that the planes flying and scooping water out of the out of the lake and being able to drop it along with the uh, the helicopters coming in and, and doing their drops uh, have made it uh, much more bearable uh, for the guys unfortunately the milder conditions come too late for at least a half dozen homeowners who lost their waterfront property fishing guide Larry Nostrant feels bad for them and all of Bayview's businesses as long as we could keep a road in and clients can get out. It's a good time of the year to come out and see our lake and fish. Uh, however, the village is closed off now. You can go out, but you can't come in. And Nadine, of this hour, Highway 54 is still closed. It's the main drag leading to Bayview. It shut down at about 12 mile mark or 12. You know, this was a wind driven fire that was burning uphill. And it's very in easy to get injuries during those type of conditions. But fortunately, so far, no one hurt by this fire. The cause of this now 2,000 plus acre blaze, Nadine, is still under investigation. Well, still lots of smoke uh, in Bayview behind you, Jeff. Uh, what about evacuations? Well, there have been no forced evacuations yet. Lots, there are a couple of people that have decided they're going to stay with their homes, but this time, enough time has passed for people to get their most precious valuables out of their homes. They're more willing to move and leave it to the structure protection rigs that are now in place to guard their homes, even if they're not there. But it's interesting, here in North Idaho, the sheriff's office cannot force you to abandon your property. Only an order from the governor can do that. And it hasn't happened yet. Reporting live in Bayview, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.